Before we move on, I know something that you've been really uh, active in is the repeal of the health care law, and that's finally going to get to his desk. We are expecting the veto, of course, but that's something that a, a lot of uh, the Republican uh, the Republicans in the GOP-controlled Congress have said, hey, we want to put this in front of him because we're backing what our constituents want. It's what I hear traveling all around the, the state of Wyoming. But we know what we want with health care. We want more people to get better care at lower costs. The health care law doesn't do that. And I hear, you know, obviously there are some people that have been helped by the law, but there are lots of people in Wyoming who find they're paying higher premiums as a result of the law, uh, their deductibles are higher, their co-pays are higher, and a lot of it has to do with this one-size-fits-all mandate that came out of Washington that said it, it wasn't good enough if you had your own insurance that worked for you, you had to buy government-approved insurance. So I've heard from people all around the state that had insurance, worked for them, they liked but they lost it because it didn't include everything that the president said it had to include. And that's okay. the problem with this is why, you know, I introduced in, in legislation several times over the last several Congresses after the health care law passed something called the State Health Care Choice Act. So if New York and California like this, fine. But for Wyoming, we ought to be able to decide what works best for us. If we don't want this mandate that everybody has to buy insurance, then the people in Wyoming ought to be able to opt out. And, and those are the parts of this that I think, when Washington says one size fits all, it hardly ever works for Wyoming. 